Hello YouTube, my name is Agent Omega and I do things. Welcome back to the Golden Sun Let's Play. As you may recall, last time we cleared out the Alton Mines, beat the boss, and acquired the Lift Gem. And without further ado, uh, let's crack on into the mines and make some progress. Now, somewhere on the screen, there should be sort of a picture-in-picture -picture of me getting the other Lift Rock that was in this dungeon. If I've remembered to do that in editing, good on me. If not... Uh, well, unfortunately, I have elected not to do that in editing. All there was was a cookie, so there's nothing too lost. Um, but we are in new territory here, so I'm just gonna take a look around. Delightful. Always love more healing items. And it looks like Robin is the one that has the vials to begin with. So we're just going to keep them with them. Now the middle path I'm pretty sure is the path that we need to take to progress. It seems to be... Once again, I freaking love having Froth Spear. Froth Spear. Froth Sphere, uh, because of the whole five target thing. Eventually, I think we get up to seven targets, and those are even better for wrapping around and stuff. And as you can see, we are now on the other side of the Alton Pass, or the Alpine Crossing. Oh, okay. I am getting a little ahead of myself. We uh, actually need to go to the Lama Temple, where I believe Master Lama is. I believe that's her name. Yes, we came from the east, but really we're from the west of here, so I'm just going to say no. Ah, okay, he literally did mean, did we come in from the east? Yeah. Yep. Aha, uh -huh. okay, that's going to be special. And of course, that is why that is going to be special. just noticed that we still have the Hermes vial, or whatever that's called. It might be Hermes, I'm not sure.
I mean, we literally went through an evil forest. I, I'm pretty sure an evil desert is not that difficult to believe. Because he's a fire adept, of course.
Now, I'm not entirely sure just how far I'm going to get this go around. Um, I am recording at kind of a strange time this week. But, hold on. We want to rebind this to reveal, I think. And if we come over here and use reveal on the stone. Now, I think what I'm intending to do is we're going to get another overworld gym, I think. Actually, hold on. I'm getting ahead of myself. At the very least, we'll get through the desert. And then probably the overworld gym. And then depending upon what time it is, I may or may not do more. But either way, I should have plenty of content for the current session slash part. Yep, okay, so I did already do my inventory management. Now, one exciting thing is that I finally have all of the parts for my computer. Uh, I kind of messed up on a couple of occasions with the ordering process, so it took a little bit longer than I would have expected or desired. But I got there in the end, and at this point I'm very confident that I have what I need to build it. And so that's probably going to happen on... Tuesday, when this episode is coming out, or Thursday, when the next Another Code Recollection is coming out. And therefore, that shouldn't interfere with my current release cycle. And uh, once that's all set up and I've transitioned to the new environment, then 
Maybe I can even finally start getting into that Minecraft Let's Play I keep promising. Uh, I'm actually itching to get into it because there are a bunch of other packs that I want to play too, for also YouTube and personal enjoyment, but uh, I can't do that, or I won't do that, until I've actually finished Infinity Evolved, or at least gotten to that point of satisfaction. Now, okay, we've got a Psy Stone there, I'm going to try to remember that. I kind of don't want to waste Synergy, but by the same token, I think it's cheaper to use some of the higher powered AoEs rather than casting the lower powered one twice. Ah, okay, so that just looks back. I'm going to step back in the puddle. And I like that they actually thought what happens when you stand in it when you're already... When you reveal it when you're already standing in it. And that is one of the reasons why it's good to hit reveal before you, like, go in the circle. I think I'm gonna be a boss, and we're gonna fight this thing for the XP. Astral Blast once again being the GOAT for single targets? Never mind, Cutting Edge is even better. Yeah, okay, so that's actually really good. I'm gonna keep up with those two, and then you can be on heals this go around, and then Marie can just hit him with a staff. Yeah, so, because of our build and the equipment that we have, I think I'm going to intentionally trigger those on a regular basis. Um, okay, that goes to the next area. Wow, that fire breath hurt. Um, okay, you know what? I'm going to switch back to single target because we are single target now. And I'm going to cure myself. I'm going to cure... Nope, that was wrong. Ah, I feel so stupid. Uh, this is okay. There's always that Psy Stone back earlier. If I really need it, I don't think I do. Uh, let's see, that was the trap. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know, I know, I know. You guys need water. Uh, where is... Okay, we're gonna... Oh, the Vulcan Axe! Yes! Alright, let's go. Um, I want to see what that does for each of you. 77. Okay, so I think this is actually slightly better for Garth. And I don't just mean by the end results. I mean, if you take a look at the net values, this is an increase of 7, whereas this is an increase of 8. So I think I'm going to give it to Garth. And then next time we can sell the Claymore. And now we get to see the mechanic, what happens when you overheat. It, or at least we would if the orc didn't just attack us. And as you can see, we just take party-wide damage, and I actually want to heal that up really quick just because we're kind of hurting on some people.
Okay, I think we're good. So we'll keep moving on. Yeah, at this point, I believe we've gotten everything hidden in the current zone. That's a lot of people. Okay, that's a lot more damage than I expected. I should be just a little more prudent, I think. Just a little. Not a lot. Just a little. Now, you may recall that in general we are traveling to the left or at the west, and so basically we kind of want to do a search pattern starting from the right to left. <laughs> no, how dare you interrupt me! You could have lived! You could have lived! Oh! Okay, I'm just gonna save real quick, because I don't trust this. Never mind, I should trust the game just a little bit more. Alright, now we're gonna do my I, I'm jokingly favorite thing in the game, gin management. Let's see what this does for us. Um okay, so he just changes stats. That makes sense. You also just change stats. You also just change stats. So right now, the only way that they could possibly, like, change classes or anything like that is if I were to, say, do something like this. And I really don't think I want to because that would be a net loss for Marie, so we're not doing that. Um, let's take a look at what happens if I give trade with Garth, perhaps? It doesn't change his class. It slightly lowers his agility if I do Fever but it massively affects him if I do Corona. I think we're just gonna keep Smog on Robin, just because it doesn't really change any of the other class allocations right now. Although, what happens? Let's take a look at this real quick. That basically benefits them both. That basically benefits them both. I kinda think I might wanna do this. I kind of think I want to do this. And now, just because I'm very curious, what happens? You turn into a wanderer. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, hold on. Let's check out Wind Slash, Plasma. We lose Bolt, Flash Bolt, Growth, Cure, and Cure Well, though. So I think we're going to do this eventually because, and I need to take a look at the Wanderer Tree, but 
if Wanderer keeps a heal from the Venus side of things, then this might be super cool to get into for Slash and Wind Slash. Um, but those are also both uh, Jupiter abilities, and I don't think we want to be doing that just now. Or I don't think we want to be losing all of the Venus abilities that uh, Salem has. And now that we have some of our new stuff, let's go ahead and get caught intentionally. Oh, I'm really hoping that Garth's axe triggers at some point in time, because that'd be just super freaking cool. Um, actually, Robin can go ahead and do that. Uh, you can go ahead and start curing, I suppose. And physician heal thyself. Now, okay, we've been through there technically to the right. Let's see, there is water. We'll take it while we're here. And then we'll just sort of zag back to the left. Yeah, we'll fight you. Proc, please proc. Yes, Barrage, let's go. Okay, I think we are getting kind of close to the exit. Uh, no, the exit's up above just there. So we'll cool off once again because I started going the wrong direction. And that way lies the exit, I think. I want to take a look at stuff like this. heal up before we inevitably take damage to the heat stroke. Please note this is obviously not how heat stroke works in reality and I suggest not do what I'm doing. <laughs> Water. Yes! That's pro moves right there. Um. Oh, wait, no, if that's the way out, then... Oh. Well, I didn't intend to run, but I'm glad it worked out, at least. Ah, this is the passage that I was looking at. Okay, this is fine. Okay, so I think we've explored everything in this zone, too. I might consult a map later on, just to make sure that I haven't, like, left behind any super cool items, like the Vulcan Axe. I mean, we got the Vulcan Axe, but like the Vulcan Axe.
Now, I keep thinking about my computer build, and every time I build a computer, I always want to try and film myself doing it, and then upload it to YouTube, of course, but every time I do, something always goes wrong, or it takes longer than I'm expecting. And so as such, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some photographs of each step of the build process, and then sort of compile them into almost like a build report uh, when I get down to it. Uh, is there a way to get down there, I wonder? Okay, let's try... No, there isn't. Okay, that's good then. Uh, but as I was saying, so I'm probably going to take some photographs of me building it and a bunch of screenshots of how I basically chose my parts uh, and then I'll compile that into a video and then I'll just talk about some of the stuff that I encountered while building the PC because this is I always manage to do something experimental with everything I oh this might be a boss fight I thought it was later though it is later okay I always do something experimental with my PC builds, and lately I've been getting just a little dissatisfied with how Microsoft updates tend to change some of the stuff that I have specifically configured, and I've used Linux at work before. So I'm, I have a passing familiarity with it based upon that and also owning a Steam Deck, so I'm planning on making Ubuntu my primary operating system. I've probably already said this in, like, the Another Code Recollection video or something like that, but this is okay. So I'm planning on making Ubuntu my primary operating system, and then having Windows for any software or hardware growing pains that I may run into. But I'm really looking forward to uh, getting into this build. I think I've planned it out fairly well. I mean, d despite the hiccups ordering parts, um, that's just... I had the right idea, just bad attention to detail. Uh, not quite as meticulous as I usually am, which is kind of weird, but I, I think it's at least in part because I was ordering parts at night and just didn't think about stuff. Ah, now I believe this is the boss. So let me just poke my head around a little bit. And we already got the djinn that was in the desert. I don't believe they really ever put two in a given location. Not usually. I'll probably consult a list after I go through this area. The Manticore! You know, I really should have saved, because this boss tends to get just a little terrifying. Uh, I think we're probably going to be okay, though, in general. Just because I noticed going through this area that most of our per all of our party has outsped every enemy that I've noticed, I think. And so either that means we're a little overleveled, or that means the party comp is just that well put together. And I don't think I want to quite pat myself on the back, so I'm going to assume we're slightly over leveled here. Okay, now I think that might be the first time that we've actually been poisoned this whole time. Oh, right. Um, 
I don't think Marie has Cure Poison anymore, so I'm going to have to spend more of the turn uh, healing than I would usually. But that's fine, because Deadly Poison, it it's really painful. It's like, in Pokemon, you know, you get like a certain number of ticks or whatever of damage for being poisoned. Deadly Poisoned is like the equivalent of Badly Poisoned. You just take extra poison damage. Uh, okay, so we're just gonna keep up the assault with you guys. Oh, boy. Uh, Robin actually has, I think, the most HP of all the party members. So we're going to save him for last, because I think he can take a hit, at least. And we're just going to keep up with the Synergy single target barrage that we've got going on with those two. That's painful. Okay. Uh, cure poison. Oh, and you go after her. Ugh, I don't like this. Well, okay. So what that says to me is that we're going to have to do this. Oh, you can cure yourself. Um. Okay, I think what I do then... I think what I do then is you do this. You are going to take care of this, you are going to take care of her, and because she's so far down, I actually want to use Cure Well, I think, and you're going to heal yourself. And hopefully the Manticore just doesn't outspeed us this one time. Kekakutori. Boy, all right, um... Okay, well, now that I know that Marie has... Oh, well, the problem is he's still going to take a lot of damage because I think he outspeeds both Marie and Garth, the only two people that can heal poison. Um, so this is kind of going to suck just a little bit. I think we'll do this. We'll do... Uh, we'll just attack with you, and then in the off chance that Marie outspeeds, I don't think she does, but in the off chance... Oh, never mind! Gigabrain! Okay, and our synergy levels are around half across the board. That's not terrible. Oh, wait. Oh, you got poisoned again. I don't like that. Okay, well, because it worked out so well the first time around, um, actually I'm going to switch back to using Cutting Edge on Garth because I keep forgetting that I have Salem who can heal as well, so we're just going to do that. I keep thinking we've got to be getting close, but I haven't used a summon at all. Oh, that's bad. Um, okay, you keep Astro Blasting, you Cutting Edge, you Cure Marie, you Heal Your Own Poison. Oh, yes! Alright, let's get out of this desert. But, okay, let's also heal Marie, because we kind of have to. Now let's get out of this desert. And 
And with that, I think it's going to wrap up part one of this session. I'm going to be right back from my perspective, but from your perspective, I will see you in a week. Take it away, future self. This has been Session 6, Part 1 of Omega Play's Golden Sun. Part 2 will release on Tuesday, April 23rd. If you're new to the channel, be sure to like, subscribe, and click that bell to be notified. And as always, I'm looking forward to your feedback in the comments below. Thanks for watching. I will catch you on the flip side.